Almost 40 years ago, a horse kicked a wall in an hacienda in Mexico City, revealing a car believed to be quite significant, possibly belonging to the man who ran Mexico for 30 years. Our Marlene Rodriguez brings us the answer to that mystery. It's a highly unique bus-like vehicle from a bygone era. But is it just a souvenir of the past, or is it something bigger? They were in that property for quite some time, and then all of a sudden, the, the foreman comes up to them, very excited, and he comes to the owner, and he says, uh, we found something that's incredible. After finding the mysterious vehicle in a wall in a hacienda, the property owner began investigating and came up with a clue linking the origin of the vehicle to the inner circle of the elitist regime of Mexico's turn-of-the-century president, dictator Don Porfirio Diaz, who began his crusade for Mexico in Brownsville. Because the person who had the hacienda before this was linked in a legal way with them, so hence the, uh, the supposition was made. After the vehicle made its way in Brownsville, it was given a closer look, starting with considering the 30-year regime of President Diaz and studying the engineering features of the car, including unique advancements that were not in yet, making some historians and car experts doubt that it belonged to the longtime Mexican leader, but rather another president of our neighboring country. Now, who was in power in 1926? Plutarco Elias Calles, and that is a whole different story. Because of the details featured in this vehicle, there is no doubt that it belonged to a president of Mexico. It was a state vehicle. There is no public conveyance, and this is a bus that would have these kind of features. You have the crystal partitions, you have the spot for the chauffeur and the mechanic, you have the tufted leather work inside. That's clearly a state vehicle. While historians know that the automobile is presidential, how it arrived in Mexico, the year it was built, and which person or president it belongs to will likely always be a mystery. In Brownsville, Marlene Rodriguez, Local 23 News. Interesting story, and get this, the company that produces vehicles of this kind has no record at all of this vehicle ever being built.